So in this video, we're gonna look at how to fix or solve the Amazon listing error 5665 without having to be trademarked and Amazon brand registered. So in classic Amazon style, they've made a new change on Seller Central without telling us as sellers really why they've made the change and just leaving it up to us to kind of solve or fix the issue. And this change essentially stops sellers being able to create new product listings for new brands that either they don't already sell on Amazon or that aren't trademarked and Amazon brand registered. So if you were to go on to Seller Central and try and create a product listing for a new brand that isn't brand registered, when you try and save that product listing, you'll get this error 5665, which is essentially Amazon saying, you must register your brand with Amazon before listing ASINs with this brand name. Now I've seen a ton of people complaining on all of the different Amazon FBA Facebook groups about how they're not able to create these product listings and asking how they can solve it or fix this error 5665. So I've decided over the last week just to do some research into this and create this YouTube video to kind of explain to you what you shouldn't be doing and what you should be doing to kind of fix, solve, or get around this error 5665 and create your product listing. Okay, so if we think about why Amazon has made this change, on the surface, it kind of makes sense, right? Amazon want to make sure that the brand that you claim to be selling is the brand that you're actually selling. So if a customer orders a Chili's water bottle, they wanna make sure that the customer's actually receiving a Chili's water bottle. Now that makes sense if this error was popping up if you were trying to kind of sell a product that there's already a product listing for, but why they're doing this, why the error is showing up for new product listings, it doesn't really make much sense. And I've been kind of thinking about this for the last couple of weeks. And my theory is, is that Amazon is trying to reduce the issue of hijackers. Now, if you don't know what a hijacker is, essentially, let's say you are a private label seller and you should be the only person selling your brand. A hijacker is someone that will claim to hold stock of your brand, even though they don't. They'll undercut you on price to try and get the buy box. And then when customers order your product, the revenue, the sales revenue will go to that hijacker. They will then post your customer just an unbranded, uh, an unbranded product. Now this causes two issues for us as sellers. Number one, obviously we're not getting that revenue, that revenue is going to the hijacker. And number two, when our customers receive the unbranded or wrong product that the hijacker sends them, we're gonna get negative product reviews, which is an absolute nightmare when it happens. And it's also a massive issue for Amazon because Basically, that customer's had a bad experience and Amazon doesn't want a bad customer experience. If a customer has a bad experience on Amazon, they're not gonna shop on Amazon anymore. Amazon's losing money. Now, if your brand is trademarked and Amazon brand registered, it's really easy to get, get rid of a hijacker because you can prove that you own the trademark and only you should be selling that brand and Amazon will remove the hijacker. If you are not trademarked and Amazon brand registered, it's quite hard to actually remove the hijacker because you can't really prove that you're the only person who's meant to be selling that brand. And that leads to bad customer experience, which is an absolute nightmare for Amazon. So my theory is, is that Amazon is basically trying to encourage sellers to trademark their brands become brand registered to basically kind of reduce the issue of hijackers. So that is my theory as to why Amazon has made this change. If you have a different theory, then let me know in the comment section below. So how can we actually fix or solve this error 5665? Well, the first thing you could do is trademark your brand and apply for Amazon brand registry. Now, obviously this is what Amazon want you to do, but for most people, this isn't a viable fix or solution because to actually apply for a trademark and get your trademark approved, in normal situations takes between two and four months. And obviously with everything to do with coronavirus, there's a massive backlog of trademarks waiting to go through. So you could be waiting a lot longer than that. And the reason why that's an issue is that you want to, and you actually, you need to create a product listing for your product before you pay your supplier and you do your manufacturing run. And the reason why you need to do that is for two reasons. Number one, you wanna make sure that there are no selling restrictions and you're actually allowed to sell that product on Amazon before you pay for those products to be manufactured. And number two, you need to be able to get your FN SKU barcode so you can provide that, you can send that barcode to your graphic designer and ideally have that incorporated and printed onto your product packaging. So unless you're willing to delay your production run and delay your launch by four plus months while you wait to get a trademark, for most people that's not gonna be an option. So we're gonna rule that out. The second option, and this is actually the kind of option that I see or the fix that I see a lot of people talking about on the Facebook groups, is that in the brand name section is just to put 
NA or a two letter abbreviation. And essentially if you put NA or a two letter abbreviation, you are allowed to save that product listing. And the idea would be that straight away after you save that product listing, you go back into it and you remove the NA and you put in your brand name. Now, obviously this is a super easy fix. It doesn't involve getting in contact with Seller Central, which everyone is super happy about. But there is one big problem with this fix. And the issue with this fix is that a lot of people are complaining about basically it being stuck as NA. When they go back into the product listing to change that NA to their brand name, they're not able to. It's being locked at NA. So as a customer shopping on Amazon, if you came onto a product listing right here where it says buy, instead of your brand name, it would say buy NA. So this is where the brand name shows up and this is where your store name shows up. And if your product listing brand name does get locked as NA, then really your only two options is number one, you can delete the product listing and start again, which means you lose a GS1 barcode, which no one wants to do. Or number two, you have to get in contact with Seller Central and get your brand approved. So what I would suggest is don't go down the NA route. Instead, just go straight to Seller Central before you create your product listing and just get your brand approved. And this is, a, this is essentially what Amazon wants you to do. And if we look at that error 5665 message again, what Amazon's basically saying is that if this brand is a registered trademark, then please enroll it with the Amazon brand registry. If it is not a registered trademark, then all you need to do is contact seller support and mention the error code 5665. And actually Amazon have a help article. So if you go to the Amazon brand name policy and you scroll down to 5665, Amazon basically explain what you need to do. Okay, so what you need to do is before you create your product listing, you need to get in contact with Amazon seller support, tell them that you're having the error code 5665, and then provide images of the product and the product packaging showing your branding on either. Now it does say here product and product packaging, but from what I've read, Amazon seller support are accepting either or. So either a product of your either a picture of your product with the with your brand name on it or the product packaging with your brand name on it. Now, if you have received a finished branded sample from your supplier, your kushti, everything is good. Just take a picture of that finished branded sample, make sure that it's on a table or that you're holding the product and just send that into Amazon and they should accept it. But for most of us, the issue is, is that we don't have a finished branded sample. If we've ordered samples from suppliers, we've probably ordered unbranded samples because they're much, much cheaper. So what do you do in that situation? Well, really you've got two options. The first option is that you can just take a picture of your unbranded sample and then using a tool like Canva or Photoshop, superimpose your logo onto that unbranded sample. Then send that edited picture into seller support. Your second option is to basically create, if you have an unbranded box, just create a really simple box mock-up, you know, on Photoshop or Canva or Word with your product logo on it, print that out and just with a print stick, just glue that paper onto the unbranded product packaging and take a picture of that and send that into seller support. Now, obviously there's a chance that seller support is gonna notice that it's photoshopped and not approve your brand. So I just wanna give you some top tips to make sure or increase your chances of Amazon approving the brand. So number one, when you take the photo of the unbranded sample before you photoshop it, make sure that you're holding the product. If they can see your hand in the photo, it's gonna make it look more realistic. And number two, blur the logo a little bit. It's gonna make the logo look less crisp and the less crisp it looks, the more natural it's gonna look and they're less likely to notice that it's a Photoshop job. Secondly, I've heard that Amazon are not particularly keen on the PNG file format, so make sure that it's a JPEG. And finally, name your files properly. So if you're taking a picture of the product packaging, say product packaging brand name XYZ, and name your file that way. If Amazon's happy with what you've sent them, then they should approve your brand in about two or three days, and then you can go ahead and create your product listing under that brand name, and you should be able to save it without getting that error 5665. So don't put NA and just try and create your product listing. It's gonna to lead to loads of issues down the line. Instead, just do what Amazon want, send them the pictures, get your brand approved, and then you can go ahead and create your product listing. In my opinion, what's kind of clear about these changes that Amazon have made is that basically they want sellers to trademark their brand and become brand registered. So it'd be my recommendation that if your product is selling well, your new brand is selling well, you should apply for a trademark, get your brand trademarked, 
get registered with Amazon brand registry because it is likely that Amazon are gonna become tighter enforcing this later down the line. So I hope you found that video useful and hopefully that solves the error 5665. If you have any other fixes or solutions to the issue, then let me know in the comment section below and I will see you in the next video.